Welcome to a new video of torture in history, TikTokers. Today, we bring you the breaking wheel torture, also known as the wheel torture. The wheel was a method of torture used in Europe in the Middle Ages and modern times. The last recorded execution was in 1841 in Prussia. To carry it out, first, the victim was firmly tied to a bench or a cross, and then the executioner proceeded to break all the bones and joints of the condemned with an iron bar or other similar instrument. The impact had to be strong, but without killing the victim. They didn't want death to be quick. They wanted the condemned person to suffer slowly with each blow they dealt him. For this reason, they avoided hitting the head, leaving it intact, and focused on breaking or dislocating limbs. After this, the victim was placed on a card wheel so that the ankles touched the head. To do this, the legs had to be dislocated upwards and they placed their arms around the circumference. Afterwards, the wheel was hooked to an axle that was nailed to the ground, leaving it elevated and in a horizontal position, and the victim on it. When they had everything ready, they made the wheel turn, breaking his bones and causing his death. When they were looking to lengthen their finish, they let the ravens finish their job, allowing the birds with their pecs to rip strips of meat from his body and empty his eyes, until producing one of the most atrocious and agonizing deaths one can imagine. In the other versions, the victim was stretched face up on the ground with the limbs extended to the maximum and tied to iron rings. Pieces of wood were placed across the wrists, elbows, knees, and hips. Then the executioner, with the wheel, crushed bone after bone and joint after joint, trying not to kill the victim. According to the documented testimony of a German, the condemned man became a kind of howling puppet, writhing like an octopus between rivulets of blood, raw, viscous and amorphous meat mixed with the splinters of broken bones. Then the procedure was the same as we have detailed. They put their body between the spokes of the large horizontal wheel and raised it. As normally, his ribs were also broken, his breathing was very weak. So apart from the pain he felt, the victim suffered a slow and agonizing death without being able to breathe properly. Many times, the sentence could dictate the time that should elapse between the execution and the final blow, lengthening or shortening it depending on the seriousness of the crime. Sometimes, the end was produced by ripping off the head of the victim and placing his body on the wheel and the head nailed on top of everything, so people could see how justice was ruthless with criminals. This torture was used in cases of serious crimes such as treason or murder. At that time, when someone committed any of these crimes, they were automatically disowned by society. So this method of torture satisfied the desire for revenge of the people, who would sleep more peacefully knowing that this person would pay for their crimes. According to ancient writings, Saint Catherine, also known as Catherine of Alexandria, was a Christian martyr sentenced to this torture in the 4th century. The ruling emperor at the time ordered her execution on a bladed wheel. But when Catherine's body touched the wood, the wheel broke. Some say that it was the angels who tore it to pieces. Unfortunately, this didn't prevent the emperor from ordering her head cut off. This was one of the most popular shows that took place in various places in Europe. Hundreds of illustrations made in our past show large groups of commoners and nobles delighting in the display of this cruel torture. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!